Hi, today I'm gonna review the book Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. So when this book came out, I kept seeing it everywhere and I didn't pay to it a lot of attention because I thought it's one of those books that look nice and people would buy it for the aesthetic. But then I saw that The Witch of Wanderlust did a review on the book and I still wasn't sure if I wanna read it or not. But then Heart Witch said that she liked it and because I trust her I read it and I liked it so much that I decided that I need to have this book so I ordered a copy because I prefer physical books that I can touch over reading it online I find it easier for me to get back to it when I need it so in my opinion it's a really great book for beginner practitioners and the best thing about this book is that actually it covers the basics and I really love it because I think that no matter how much I evolve in my practice, I get back to the basic practices very often. I read this book two years ago, if I'm not wrong, but I wanna read it this year after I finish some of my other books that I'm planning to read. I like that it's very easy to read and understand. I like how the book is organized as well. So he don't just cover the basics, of course, you will find information on different types of brainwave states and for those of you who don't know what these are, basically our brain produces subtle electrical impulses generated by masses of neurons communicating to each other for particular activities that we are engaging in and create specific states of consciousness. All these states have their own names so gamma brainwave state is a bit hard to achieve it's a state that you can achieve when you are in transcendental state in beta we are awake alert and concentrated in alpha we are relaxed meditating and daydreaming in theta we are before and after sleep we are completely unaware of the external world in delta we are when we are in deep dreamless sleep alpha and theta are brain-based states that are associated with psychic perception he also talks about meditation and you can find a lot of exercises in this book which i like he also talks about how to avoid burnout different types of clairs he touches on elementals, different types of energies and ways that you can ground and not only use the energy of the earth but how to draw energy from other planets as well. You also got spells at the end of the book if you are interested in that. I think this is a really great book if you are starting your practice but it's also a great book if you are in a broom closet because energy work doesn't require any tools so you can practice even if you are not open about your practice. He also talks about different types of ways that you can protect yourself and your home by creating security systems and psychic passwords. He answers a lot of questions that I had when I started my practice. This book is truly amazing. Many books that I've read don't even talk about the foundations and we just go straight to the spells and practices as if we all would already know somehow the basics and without the basics without knowing why you are doing what you are doing it's really hard to do magical workings he really goes deep into the basics and gives you different ways of approaching them which is really nice the book is a standard size but i promise you if you get it you won't regret it because it holds more information than it seems I mean, the way that he teaches, the system that he uses is really easy to understand and he goes through everything step by step helping you to build slowly your knowledge on everything. This is a book that you can use forever, in my opinion, you can do so much practice and get so much from it. No matter how far you go in your practice, I feel that at some point we often get back to the basics and you can create a schedule and practice all these exercises. There are 93 exercises by the way. He talks in depth about cleansing and shielding. He did a really great job at creating a book that you can adapt to your practice. Although I love talking about the contents of this book, I wouldn't want to tell you absolutely everything that is written in this book so that you can discover it yourself. I can't wait to read this book again, it's just 
that I'm currently reading other books and I gave priority to the ones that I still have to finish before rereading some of my old ones. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. If you have any video ideas, just comment them down below. Let us know what is your favorite witchcraft book. If you want to subscribe to this channel for more witchcraft content, it would mean a lot to me. But if not, you know, no pressure. Be always kind and see you in my next one. Thank you.